your name Jesus God we recognize your presence in this place God you have been here before we enter and we just want to say thank you hallelujah we just want to say thank you Jesus hallelujah thank you Jesus we worship you come on let's worship the Lord everybody hallelujah we exalt you we lift you up God there is none like unto you there is none to be compared to you Jesus Hallelujah, 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 praise God, hallelujah, hallelujah, thank you Jesus, thank you Jesus, thank you Jesus, hallelujah, hallelujah, praise God, praise God, praise the Lord everybody, praise the Lord everybody. As we are on our final day, I just wanted to share with you, you know, this morning when I was coming to church, I chose to walk. So while I was walking, and I was walking really fast, some pebbles dropped into my shoes, and I started to walk, and I keep doing like this. And I was still walking, and I'm like, God, we can't stop to take off the shoes now. And I stopped, and I stamped my feet about three times, and it feel good, and I started to walk. And something dropped into my spirit. And I said, ah. When I started to think about it, it, you know, it come to me like these are some little things that we don't take note of. And when it's there nudging us, we find ways to get rid of it. But it's not gone. It is still there because it's somewhere in the shoes because I stamp my foot. Yeah. And I said, God. I stamp my foot. So it may be in a little corner under the line. I don't know, but it's there. And I said, God, the little things them that are within me that I might, you know, take for granted or I didn't know. And then we do something and it's like it's not there and it's there. Work on it, Jesus. And I said, God, I'm going to share this. I said, work on it, Jesus. So saints of God, this morning, there are times some little things that we take for granted. Let us say that. But guess what? It is still there. And we're going to talk to our God this morning. We're going to enter in prayer this morning. And we're going to say, Jesus, come on, saints of God. You know he knows. I know he know me. And we're going to talk to our God this morning. And we're going to present ourselves before the Lord this morning. Saints of God, I know. I know. I don't know about you that these three days are not normal. It's not like the others. If we recognize the time that we are living in, we serve a God that never changes. We are the one that do the adjustment. So saints of God, it's not the same. It is not the same. And though many a times you will come and we, you know, we're on our days and we will hear these things. Over. But let me tell you, this one is different. It is not the same. So the mere fact, if we have recognized the word that we have been getting, you know, and these simple things. So we are, we get about 
we get several words coming down from the past Sundays. And this was one that I didn't even imagine. The little pebble. Pebble is the, the very fine one. And saints of God, sometimes we don't know our pebbles. But we're going to ask the Lord this morning to find that pebble Jesus. I want to make it in. Yes, opposition will come. And things are going to come that will slay us. Oh God, you know, you're just joining on the ground and woe is me. But I want to make it. So saints of God, we're going to go before our God this morning. And we're going to talk to him about those little pebbles. And because we want him to have his way today. We want him to reign on us. We want him to minister into our spirit. We want him to confirm some things that we have been spoke. We have been talking to him about. Saints of God, come on. Anybody sick and tired? Of, you're saying, God, you're praying. I mean, you're praying and you're saying, God, I know I'm telling you this several times. What is happening? Is your heart open and willing this morning to hear and receive? Saints of God, let us pray with that in mind. That our heart be open to hear and receive and act. So we are going to pray. Let us pray. Let us pray. Holy God. Holy God. Holy God, righteous Father. You are a good God. You are a merciful God. And Jesus, this morning, we just want to say thank you for your mercy and your grace. God, it's nothing good that we have done this morning. But God, you have kept us thus far. And as we present ourselves before you this morning, God, we pray, oh God, that you purify our minds and our thoughts. Wash us from all unrighteousness and cleanse us even now, great God. You are the one, Lord God, that searched the heart and tried. And God, as we come to the starting of our service with our open prayer, we're saying, Lord, have your way in each and every one of us. God, find those little pebbles, Jesus. Remove it from us. God, even so, help us to recognize it that we can amend ourselves and get it right. God, have your way. Have your way, Jesus. Have your way, Jesus. God, we're here to give you glory, to give you honor. We're here to give you glory and honor, but that you will accept, Lord God, our offering as you wash and cleanse us and forgive us of those little pebbles, what we know and know not of. In Jesus' name, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Great are you, Lord. Great are you, Lord. Hallelujah. Great are you, Lord. Great are you, Lord. We're going to pray for our request. Don't worry. Hallelujah. Great are you, Lord. We are here to worship this morning, saints of God. Hallelujah. Great are you, Lord. Hallelujah. We serve an awesome God. Hallelujah. Great are you, Lord. Great.
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. It's not about us that are here, that are leading the service. It's about God. It's about God. It is about God. If you feel like you're distracted, close your eyes. Because it's about God. The mere fact that you're here, it's about God. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. We are going to intercede on the behalf of some individuals this morning. We're going to pray for Roger Williams. Uh, for guidance and knowledge. He's overseas and, you know, he's baptized, but he needs direction. We're going to pray for Sylvia Williams, who is in need of healing. We're going to pray for Mr. Darkins. He had a stroke in the right side of his, in his right side, on the right side. So he had a stroke and it's on the right side. The right side is mostly affected, I guess. And we're going to pray for Jennifer Mavis, who is in the hospital overseas in a coma. Saints of God, the Lord said these requests before they were put, you know, pen go to paper. And we're going to present these individuals before the Lord. And we're going to ask the Lord. And we're going to ask the Lord to just hear or we present ourselves already before the Lord. And we're going to present these individuals before the Lord. I know many times you say we have unspoken requests. I'm going to take it that. The fact that we have unspoken requests, we're not going to carry all of them up here. But you're going to tell God that unspoken request this morning. So you're not just going to say, I have an unspoken request. You're going to tell God that request this morning. And we're going to also put it before the Lord, whatever that is. Saints of God, let us intercede on the behalf of those requests. Mighty God, you're a healer and a God that is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all which we could ever ask or think. Mighty God, the mere fact, Lord God, that this morning you have allowed these requests to come before your presence. Father God, you see and you know, Lord God, this individual. Mighty God, Lord Jesus, being overseas, Rajay, mighty God. And mighty God, Miss Mavis, oh God, overseas, mighty God. And mighty God, that Lord God, Mr. Darkins, mighty God. Father God, you see and you know these individuals, you know them by name. And mighty God, you know them by character. And Father God, as we present them before you, great God, we present them knowing that you are the God that is able to do exceedingly, abundantly above all which we could ever ask or think. And we're believing in faith this morning as we present these requests before you. That mighty God, you'll be, Lord God, the God that you are in this situation. Father God, you're able to raise the dead and God, you can bring back those that are in coma. Mighty God, we thank you for being, Lord God, the God that has set and declare and set some things, God. God, you know how to restore and may new mighty God, and we pray that you'll touch Mr. Darkin's body on the right side, Lord Jesus. God, remember, Rajiv, God, you know how to construct the mind and to renew the mind and the thought and to give guidance and knowledge, Lord Jesus. We pray, Lord God, for the sick. Mighty God, Father God, we pray, oh God, that you will heal, Lord God, our sister. Mighty God, that is sick. God, you know the sickness, what it is that is plaguing her body. But God, you are a bomb in Kenya. God, we thank you for being the healing God that you are. The merciful God that you are. The great God that you are. God, even now we present before you, Lord Jesus. Today's service. Mighty God, you are God and you are in control. God, I pray, oh God, that this morning, Lord Jesus, as you are working on us, oh God, your divine will will be done. And God, if by any chance, any mere way of self uh, seeming wanting to enter, mighty God, in your presence, we pray that you'll put it to naught. God, we pray, oh God, that your presence will sit upon us today. Mighty God, your Shekinah glory will come down uh, and minister into our spirit, your direction, uh, your guide and leading, God, that our heart uh, will receive and move in obedience, oh God. God, you're a faithful God and you correct those who you love. And God, help us, oh God, to receive the correction that you'll give unto us, uh, that we'll be able to walk according to your will and your way, great God. 
God, we present the moderator before you. We pray, oh God, that you'll use him or her as your will is, oh God. God, I pray that you'll direct, Lord God, and lead. God, the word, the word, God, we're saying, Lord God, have your way. God, we are saying, sit upon the minister, Jesus. God, we are saying, God, let him or her not all back. But God, that they will give up everything, mighty God. And I pray, great God, that as you use that individual, Lord God, to present your word before your people, great God. I pray a special blood, but covering over, Lord God, that individual. That God, as they proceed and speak every word that will come from their mouth, it will be anointed in the name of Jesus. Huh? That your blood will go forth, mighty God, and do a work like none other. God, I pray, oh God, that this morning, as your spirit lead, great God, you will take control, God, the offering. I pray, oh God, that we will give it with thanksgiving, Jesus. Oh God, I pray for the Lord God, worship leaders, that they will worship from the depths of their spirit. God, that they will give everything to you today. God, even for the unsaved that is and will be in our midst. God, I pray, oh God, that when the word go forth, it will lodge in their spirit. God, that they will not be able to shake or move it. But God, it will germinate and bring forth fruit that they will heal unto your will and way. And accept, mighty God, your name in water baptism and seek to live the life that will, Lord God, bring glory unto you and mighty God's salvation. God, remember those that will be online streaming. God, I pray, oh God, that your anointing, Lord God, will flow through the airways. And mighty God, minister to the heart and the spirit of your people that are not able to be here in the tangible presence, God. But God, that you will sit upon them, mighty God, and minister to their spirit, your will. God, you are good, and you are great, and you are faithful. Ah, God, you're a debtor to no man. Father God, we thank you for being the God that you are. And we thank you for what you're about to do in the mighty name of Jesus. Can we worship the Lord, everybody? Can we worship the Lord, everybody? Since of God, can we worship the Lord? Can we worship the Lord? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God, you are faithful. You are faithful. Hallelujah. 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 You, Lord, great are you, Lord. Hallelujah. Great are you.
it. Hallelujah. Jesus, your thoughts define me. You're inside of me. You are my reality. We are here to worship him today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
hearts of the world that will bless the earth.
You may be seated. Hallelujah. Sister Cook, come. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We are here to worship the Lord today. We'll be reading. You can follow in the Bible. Psalm 149. Hallelujah. And Psalm 150. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Psalms 149. Praise ye the Lord. Sing unto the Lord a new song, and his praise in the congregation of saints. Let Israel rejoice in him that made him. Let the children of Zion be joyful in their king. Let them praise his name in the dance. Let them sing praises unto him with the timbrel and harp. For the Lord taketh pleasure in his people. He will beautify the meek with salvation. Let the saints be joyful in glory. Let them sing aloud upon their beds. Let the high praises of God be in their mouth and a two-headed sword in their hand to execute vengeance upon the heathen and punishments upon the people to bind their kings with chains and their nobles with fetters of iron to execute upon them the judgment written. This honor have all his saints. Praise ye the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. Praise God in his sanctuary. Praise him in the firmament of his, his power. Praise him for his mighty acts. Praise him according to his excellent greatness. Praise him with the sound of the trumpet. Praise him with the psaltery and harp. Praise him with the timbrel and dance. Praise him with the string instrument and organs. Praise him upon the loud cymbals. Praise him upon the high sounding cymbals. Let everything that has breath Praise Almighty God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I want Sister Cook to read 150 one more time, and I want everybody to stand. And while she read a different praise, I want everybody to just do it in action. Musicians, um, saints, clap your hands, shout for joy. Anything you want to do, you're going to praise the Lord today. She's going to read 150 one more time. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, saints of God. One more time, we're going to lift up the name of the Lord Jesus. 
Praise Almighty God. Praise ye the Lord. Praise God in his sanctuary. Praise him in the firmament of his power. Praise him for his mighty acts. Praise him according to his excellent greatness. Praise him with the sound of the trumpet. Hallelujah. Praise him with the psaltery and harp. Praise him with the timbrel and dance. Hallelujah. Praise him with the string instruments and organ. Hallelujah. Praise him upon the loud cymbals. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise him upon the sounding cymbals. Let everything that has breath. Let everything that has breath. Hallelujah to the most high God.
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, I feel good. I could go on and on, but Bishop, it's time for you, sir. Please come and greet the church. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What a great presence of the Lord in the house. Hallelujah. Lift your hands, somebody. Lift your hands one more time. Even as you're seated, whether you're seated or standing, lift your hands one more time. Glory to God in the highest. Oh, hallelujah. 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 Yes, Lord, you have won again. You cannot lose, you cannot lose, you cannot lose. You are God of gods, you are King of all kings. Oh, hallelujah. The conquering lion of the tribe of Judah. And we bless your great name. We bless you, we bless you, we bless you, we bless you. Oh, bless the Lord, bless the Lord, bless the Lord, bless the Lord. He's worthy to be praised. He is worthy to be praised. He's worthy to be praised. Oh, praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, yes, yes. We bless you, Lord. We lift you up, Jesus. You are high. You are lifted up. Oh, hallelujah, we magnify you. Hallelujah. In the year that King Uzziah died, I hear Isaiah say, I saw the Lord. He was high and lifted up, and his train filled the temple, full of glory. My God, when the angels saw him, my God, they bowed. Those angels were not ordinary angels six wings they had and with two of them they cover their face with two of them they cover their feet and with two of them they did fly and the angels cry holy 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 is the lord the whole earth is full of his glory i wonder if we can see the glory of the lord today I wonder if we can sense the glory of the Lord in the house right now. He is here. He is here. He is here. He is here. And we bless the Lord. Let me hear the church say, Holy is the Lord. Holy is the Lord. Holy is the Lord. We magnify the God of our salvation. We bless our great creator we lift up the almighty who is holy and who is worthy to be praised oh praise god praise god praise god praise god what a great god what a great savior he is glory to god Mighty God, mighty God, mighty God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Shout his name, somebody. Shout his name, somebody. Shout his name, child of God. He's worthy. He is worthy. He is worthy to be praised. What a God. Hallelujah. What a God. What a great God. What a, an awesome God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. The Lion of Judah shall break every chain. Yes. The Lion of Judah. 
Yes. Shall break every chain. Mighty God, mighty God. The Lion of Judah. Yes. Shall break every chain. Mighty God. And give us the victory. Oh. Again and again. What a great God. What a great King. The Lion of Oh, shall break every chain. Hey, hey, the Lion of Judah, my God, shall break every chain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Lion of Judah, yes, shall break every chain. Oh, yes, yes, God Almighty, and give us the victory. Oh, yes. Again, again and again. Oh, the Lion of Judah, oh, the Lion of Judah, shall break every chain. Break every chain. The Lion of Judah, my God, shall break every chain. Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. The Lion of Judah. And give us the feet one last time. And give us the feet. Oh, hallelujah. Again. Again and again. Oh, one last time. Oh, the lion of Judah shall break every chain. Oh, the lion of Judah. God bless it, Lord. Oh, hallelujah. Shall break. Shall break every chain. Oh, hallelujah. I see chains breaking already. I see healing already. Oh, hallelujah. The lion of Judah. I see chains breaking already. Master, hallelujah. Oh, yes. Shall break every chain. Shall break every chain. The lion of Judah. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Shall break every chain. Mighty God. Mighty God. Mighty God. The lion of Judah. Yes. Shall break every chain. Shall break every chain. And give us the thing. Just one last time. Just one again last time. Again. Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. The lion of Judah, my God, shall break every chain. Break every chain. The lion of Judah, yes, shall break every chain. Break every chain. The lion of Judah, hey, shall Jesus. break every chain. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. We bless your name, Lord Jesus. Again and again. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Chains are already breaking. Chains are already breaking. I feel it. Hallelujah. And release taking place. Great God. Great God. God bless you. God bless you. Those who are standing, you may be seated in the precious name of the Lord. God bless you. Oh, hallelujah. We acknowledge the great God in the house today. Amen. We say thank you, Lord for being with us, for being in this house, for being in this place. We know that he is here. We feel him. We sense him. Can't you feel his presence? He is already here. Hallelujah, hallelujah. He is here. I can feel the brush of angels' wings right now. I feel glory. I see glory on our faces. Can I tell you? Surely the presence 
of the Lord is in this place. Glory, glory, we bless your great name. The atmosphere is ripe for a move of God in a special way. Something is going to happen, healing is going to happen. Healing is already happening. I know it, I know it, I know it. I'm saying it right now because I feel it. Healing is already happening. Maya Bosanda, it's happening right now. It's happening right now. Release is taking place right now. Chains are being broken right now. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Break, chain, break. Hallelujah, in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. I greet the household of faith this morning. In the wonderful healing name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ greetings hallelujah we recognize this morning that many of our saints are still on fasting day three for some day five for some and some continue after today we understand some of you see, you know, sitting, you stand, stood for a while, and then you had to sit, no problem. Just worship God. Some of you are a bit weak this morning, but you forced and you made your way out. We say, God richly bless you. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. You're here and you're worshiping him and God recognizes the sacrifice that we make. God bless you. God bless you. To the visitors that are in the house, we greet you this morning in the precious name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. You're not here by chance. I can tell you and I see we have my God hallelujah we have a number of visitors here this morning and maybe others might have come in after the list was written up but certainly on the list we have 16 amen visitors and we say God be praised Every now and then we jot the names down, but when it is 16 and 20 and 30, you know, we, we don't read all of them. But let me just run through quickly since they brought them. But it's so very good to have these persons with us. God bless you richly. Amen. Joseph Lunan, Shernet Clark Lunan, Joseph Lunan Jr., Mary Kay Lunan. I'm going to ask you to just stand. The, the Lunan family is here stand up wherever you are god richly bless you then there is another family again rayana ross and amanda ross amen we are into the family business and this is f-a-m amen and we just add i-l-y to it this is the fam family and we we enjoy having families amen coming into our midst amen shady and campbell april mcfarlane Sheldon Smichael, Justin Williams, Norman. That's all the name we have for you, but that's all right, Norman. Amen. Vanessa Ambersley, Brittany Dixon, Sherna Richardson, Honif Davis, Sophia Campbell, Annalise Christie Aiken. Just saints, let's put our hands together. They stood and they sat. But just stand up one more time. We just want to see you. We really appreciate your taking the time out to be with us. Where, 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 where? Just stand one more time. I know you stood already. Saints, let's put our hands together. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Welcome to Faith Chapel. 
of the Faith Apostolic Ministries. We appreciate your taking the time to come to be with us here. And we say, God richly bless you. It is not by chance, I said it before, that you are here. This day was ordained by Almighty God before the foundation of the world. And you are just living out what was set up by God. You are here by design. And we say, God richly bless you and we love you. Hey, come away. I know we're tired, but you can't sit for too long. There's a little chorus as we leave our seats. Let's see if we can do it in, in a minute or two. Amen. We're going to leave our seats and we're going to greet our visitors. And of course, the brethren that you pass on your way to the visitors. Amen. You are not going to pass them by. So we're just going to fellowship. And as you leave and go to greet, amen, just give them a good handshake, a smile, and tell them something good. Amen. And that is what we're going to do right now. Come on, we stand, everybody. What does the song say? Oh, get together. Let us all get together in the Lord. Let's greet one another like sisters and brothers. Come on, we stand, everybody. Greet the visitors, greet the saints, and let's fellowship in Jesus' name. Get Praise together. God. Lord, let us all get together in the Lord. Oh, let us greet one another like sister and brother. Let us all get together in the Lord. Get together, get together, get together in the Lord. Get together with the Lord. Get together, get together, get together with the Lord. Let us all get together with the Lord. Let us greet one another like sister and brother. Let us all. Just one more time. 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 Just one more
waters oh, we are together again together again oh yes mighty God in one accord something good is about to happen something good is in oh, we are together again yes God, praise God, praise God. Amen. Put your hands together this time for Jesus. And then you may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Just before I take my seat, just remember that comes November 5th to November 10th. It's our annual, this time, National Convention, Convocation, Conference. Amen. And I want us to be reminded, amen, of the dates. I, we are already in fasting, and I want us to keep it in our focus every single day going down to the event. It's going to be special. It's going to be different. And I know God is going to do a new and great and powerful thing. And so I ask us to be in prayer constantly for national conference Amen. Getting on the way November 5th through to 10th in the name of the Lord. I want to remind the saints, I want to give us, amen, enough time to bit by bit put our special offering together. Remember we had said that we will be taking a special offering of $5,000. But we also did indicate that there are folks who can give much more, right? Amen. Minister Murray, people like you, Elder Bailey and, you know, Boucher and all those folks, we know you quite well. And, you know, some of you might even have whispered in my ears because this came from them, you know. Some of these gentlemen said that to me. What about those who can give more? I always hear about what about those that can give less. Of course, nothing is wrong. If, it, if you can't make it to the five, but you can go four or three, or whatever, but we want everybody to be marching up with their special offering, and we're going to be doing that on the Wednesday night, amen, of our national convocation. I, I don't want to go into the cost. You know, every time we're here on a Sunday, and it will happen on that day too, it's $100,000 for every Sunday that we come here. Not the night, you know, just the day. So when it's convention time, we're going to go Sunday night, the cost is there. Monday night, Tuesday night, Wednesday night, Thursday night, Friday night. I just say that just to put a perspective in our minds that it is really a costly affair. And, but we just have to do it. We just have to have conference. And it is going to be a great time of refreshing and blessing. Amen. In the presence of the Lord. And so bear that in mind. And of course, let's continue to pray and fast and look forward with great anticipation for what God is going to do. Somebody shout mission. Somebody shout national convocation. God bless you. God bless you in Jesus' name. I extend greetings to you from Elder Martin, who is unavoidably absent this morning. I extend greetings to you from Elder Smith, who is unavoidably absent this morning. These gentlemen are always here, but they got caught up this morning. And although they would have loved to be here, they are unavoidably absent, but they send their greetings. God bless you. Let's continue to worship the Lord in spirit and in truth and in the beauty of holiness. God bless you. God bless you, Bishop. We also want to extend greetings, sir, to our visitors and viewers online. I like, right? And while Sister Bailey is coming with the announcement, the song says, he gave his life for you and for me. Jesus, the sweet Nazarene. Hallelujah. Come on, say, stand he up again, man. Just stand up and sing. Come on. For you and for me. Jesus, the sweet Nazarene. Oh, someday in glory, his face I shall see. Jesus, the sweet Nazarene. Come on. Oh, he gave his life for you and for me. Jesus, the sweet Nazarene. Someday in glory, his face I shall see. Jesus, the sweet Nazarene. Oh, he gave his life for you and for me. Jesus, the sweet 
God bless you. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Brethren, I'm here again. Uh, did I not ask you to pray for my organization last week? Because we had six deaths of employees and a seventh one who was an employee. Well, we woke up, no, after the day on Monday, we woke up to another death in the organization. Whatever is happening. And this time, his wife is in the organization. She works there. So you know people become fearful. So what had happened is that we find a group of person coming together, went down on a seven-day fasting. Another set went on a three-day fasting that ended yesterday. And if only more of our organization, sometimes God have to shake us up to get rid of some things and to acknowledge and remember that he is in control. For the last seven weeks, every Monday morning, persons are afraid to look in their email. There's another death, but by the blood of Jesus Christ, no more tomorrow morning. By the power of the Holy Ghost and the prayers that have been prayed. Have your way, Jesus. Just remember, Brother Prince, Brother Delroy Bailey and myself, we all work at the same place. So just remember us in your prayer. Praise God, I'm here with our announcements for the week. October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. The Farm Health and Wellness Department will be hosting a forum this Tuesday, October 24th at 7 p.m. via Zoom. Come here, medical and psychological perspectives, and for from a breast cancer so, and from a breast cancer survivor. So this coming Tuesday, day after tomorrow, we have a session online where we can hear about breast cancer awareness and males. It doesn't mean it's only female. Men do get breast cancer. And not only that, you can gather the information to help someone. Praise God. This Tuesday at 3.30 p.m., all students are invited to Visionaries, which is online. Please invite a friend. Per meeting and Bible study this Wednesday at 6 and 7 p.m., respectively. We go on in prayer. Come on out, just as out you turned out in your number last night, and we'll be doing this afternoon. Let us continue praying because we need to reap souls and we need to remain steadfast in the Lord. Praise God. This Thursday, choir practice at 6:45. No youth service this Friday. National period of consecration continues today. We meet on Zoom at 6.30. Everyone is invited to attend. So if you weren't there last night or Friday night, please get on board this afternoon. Praise God. 6.30. We will be supporting Agape Ministries Yara this Friday, October 27th 
at 7 p.m. The choir will be ministering and the saints are invited. Further details will be circulated via the, the church's WhatsApp group. And as you heard Sir mention earlier, our national convention, November 5 through to 10, 2023. And normally, you know, sometimes some of us get a bit shy in doing personal witnessing. But in your time, we are asking you to invite, start inviting your neighbors. Start inviting your co-workers, those you meet on the street. Just invite them to the house of the Lord, November 5 through to 10. And we just want to say a big thank you to our minister, Martin, who did the session last Tuesday. And we just want to say thanks, sir, in your absence. It was a session that reiterates some things for some. It was a learning session for some. And I pray that we weren't just present there, but what was said, we will take them and put them into action so that we can win souls for Almighty God. Praise God. And finally, this is our last set of photo shoots for our 10th year magazine. And the final groups that will be doing their shoot after service will be the missions, the counseling, and the property group. So ensure that you don't leave, you are here for your photograph. God bless you. Praise God. Just one quick addition to the announcement. Sister Lawrence, uh, one of our sisters here, she is reminding us of the funeral service for Winston Lawrence, it's her relative. Uh, it was, we had announced it before, but then the time is up on us. It's going to be on the 4th of November, and it's over in Berkshire District in Westmoreland. Westmoreland, and that's at the border of Westmoreland and St. Elizabeth. The Thanksgiving service begins at 11. And so a bus will be leaving at 6.30 a.m. But it won't be leaving from 69, from 29 at the administrative office. It will be leaving from 62 Salke Avenue. This is the home of Brother and Sister Gordon. So the bus will be leaving Brother and Sister Gordon's home, 62 Salke Avenue at 6.30 a.m. And the, it is free admission. So as many as can support Sister Lawrence, we ask you to indicate to the church office. We just want to make sure that the bus can accommodate you. And it's free of cost. And it's the 4th of November. Bear it in mind and let's give our support. God richly bless you. Mr. Bishop, uh, as you know, as, one, as was announced, um, this month is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. And you know, it's a very serious thing for women, right? And you know, it was announced also that on Tuesday there will be a seminar. However, we are going to be praying for those in our congregation who are suffering from breast cancer or have gone through breast cancer are surviving breast cancer and you need prayer. I know you might not want to show yourself, but if you do, you can come to the altar. We're inviting you at this time to come. If not, you can stay in your seat and I'm going to ask Minister Delroy Bailey to come and pray for those. All the ministers, yes, led, led by Minister Bailey, right? All the ministers will be praying. And so if you want to come forward, you can come forward so that we can anoint you with oil. If not, you can stay anonymous and, you know, yes, Sister Clark, right? Yes, oh, Sister Clark is standing in the gap for those. And I see, and Sister Tisha is here as well, standing in the gap. Yes, so come on, minister, grab a mic and let's pray. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. God. Amen. 
I know, I know Minister Cook said it, it's breast cancer and we quite understand and appreciate. But just this morning when I came in, two saints spoke with me. And whereas theirs is not breast cancer, it is cancer. Uh, uh, a mid-aged saint and a young saint. His executive profile was perfect. And yet he saw a small little thing on his throat. And when he went and checked it out, they did the biopsy. It was malignant. That means it has cancerous cells there. A young man. And I, 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 I was already weak. And I felt a little weaker. But, so it's not breast cancer, but it's another form of cancer. And since you're going to pray, hmm? or, and it doesn't matter, whatever cancer, we're going to allow you to join in with the breast cancer folks and just come. We are going, you know, I felt healing in the house already. Hallelujah. 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 I felt deliverance. In the house already. Oh, hallelujah. And we are going to call on the healing Jesus this morning. Hallelujah. Come on, right up here, ministers. Amen. Amen. Brother Randy, you want to just come join us up here? And you're going to be praying for these people. Come, Brother Henry, come join us up here. I was just going to call you, Brother Davis, to just join us up here. But that's fine. You're here. Stand, yes, yeah, stand in the game because they are coming. Come right up. Come right up. Come right up. Grab a mic, gentlemen. Gentlemen, grab mics. Borrow the mics over here. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. 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 Jesus, you're worthy. Hallelujah. Let me just invite the saints to stand right now. Amen. Stand in unity today. Amen. We are going to pray for these at the altar. We're going to ask you to just, in your weak state, stretch your hands, your right hand forward to the altar. Amen. And we'll be praying. Amen. Ministers, let us pray. Talk to the Lord. Father, we want to bless your name one more time and we want to give you the glory. Oh, Jesus Christ, for the privilege of your name. Lord, we present your people. We recognize, Lord Jesus Christ, that you are our Lord. We know my God, we know my God, we know my God, from their wicked ways, I will forgive their sins, and I will give your life. The mighty God has said, right now, Jesus, these are his mighty God. Jesus, I say something as a real life. You said, it's not near the farm in Gilead. And so God, we are thankful to know that this afternoon, Jesus, that you are the farm in Gilead, Jesus. I remember the woman, mighty God, was touched, oh God, just to the name of your garment, and she was made whole. Jesus, I present this book to you, mighty God. The diverse needs of I my God, I curse you now in the name of Jesus. I present them to you, God, as you look at the people with compassion, mighty God. God. I said, you were moved, oh my God, and so God, we want to thank you this afternoon, Jesus, for hearing our prayer, Lord. I put them before you, Jesus. I curse those sickness, Jesus. I curse them in the name of Jesus. I render healing to your power, to your blood, and to your God. In Jesus' name I pray. I thank you, mighty God, for hearing our cry. Thank you, mighty God, for showing up. In your name I say thank you, Jesus. We ask you to stand up here. Thank you, Jesus. Lord God, we pray right now, God, that you are perfect in the world. Jesus, we come against this disease right now. Oh God, we render it powerless, Jesus. We thank you, God, for this victory. It could have a shatter that you are giving us even right now. We thank you, God, for this victory, God, that you are giving the saints right now. As they lift their faith, mighty God, so let it be unto them right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. For it's not by might today or by power. 
but it's by your spirit. Move, Holy Ghost, like only you can. And do like only you can in the name of Jesus Christ. Let your perfect will be done as we give you thanks and we give you praise in Jesus' name. Amen. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You know, with all of these sicknesses and all the aches of the body, hallelujah, we're glad that we're not here to stay. We're just passing through. Hallelujah. One day, death and sickness will be destroyed. Hallelujah. The song says, I am a glad pilgrim on my way, going to glory land. We soon can get rid of these things. Hallelujah. Sing us. The ushers, you can come as well. Ushers, can you come? Can you come, ushers? Just come quickly. Let me just pray. And as I sing the song, you can collect. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Bless your name, Lord. Hallelujah. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I want to thank you for this moment, mighty God. Thank you for bringing us to this portion of the service, God, where the saints will give back to you, mighty God. Bless those who have to give and bless those who have not to give Jesus. In your name, I say thanks. Amen. Hush as you can go. I'm a glad pilgrim on my way, going to glory land. Jesus, my only hope and stay, holding me by the hand. In it I've tried to understand things that I never knew. Even my promise to the Lord, I'm going through. I'm a glad pilgrim on my way. Going to glory land Jesus my only hope and say Holding me by the hand It is a joy to understand Things that I never knew Keeping my promise to the Lord I'm going through Oh yes I'm here What a wonderful feeling in My happy soul he's mine Protecting me from the heat and cold, I'll do whatsoever we fix the eyes. Well, always do I know my Redeemer will lead me safely through. Oh, walking with Jesus all the way, singing a happy song. I'm going to I'm here 
so he's mine. He's protected me from the heat and cold. I'll do whatsoever he bids me. I will always do. I know my Redeemer will lead me safely through. Oh, yes, I'm here. What a wonderful feeling is. to be praised. There is none like you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We worship you, Lord. We worship you. We worship you. We worship you. Hallelujah. I'm going to be reading in your hearing from the book of Deuteronomy chapter 6 verses 3 to 9. And it read thus. Hear therefore, O Israel, and observe to do it, that it may be well with thee, and that he may increase mightily, as the Lord God of thy fathers hath promised thee in the land that floweth with milk and honey. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord, 
And thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thine heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy might. And these words which I command thee this day shall be in thine heart. And thou shalt teach them diligently unto thy children. And thou shalt talk of them when thou sittest in thine house, and when thou walkest by the way, and when thou liest down, and when thou risest up. And thou shalt bind them for a sign upon thine hand, and they shall be as frontlet between thine eyes. And thou shalt write them upon the posts of thy house and on thy gate. Praise God. We want to tell you that we are happy that you have chosen this house of God to dedicate your child. We observe that you have families and friends with you. And we want to say welcome. We also want to say to you that this day is going to come before you parents as a memorial. This is not a fanfare. What you're actually doing before God and man is saying to God, take this child and lead this child for me because I am not capable. And you, as parents, have the responsibility to ensure that your child grow in the fear of the Lord. There is a privilege that is extended unto humanity, a privilege that is of high priority. You know, the Bible did say, if any man will come after me, let him deny himself, pick up his cross, and follow me daily. I believe that is a privilege which is of high priority that is extended unto humanity that we need and must embrace. Amen, everybody? Amen. Praise God. So we are going to be dedicating unto the Lord Shania Amira Dickinson. <laughs> what a name. Gentlemen, I'm going to ask you to just agree with me by stretching forth your right hand. Congregation, I'm going to ask you to stand, please. Please, and just stretch forth your right hand as we dedicate this child unto the Lord. Amen? Bishop say you can remain seated. Whoever chooses to stand, please stand. But please, the support. Stretch forth your right hand. Amen? Let us pray. Merciful Father, wonderful Savior, King of kings, Lord of lords, you are indeed the lion of the tribe of Judah. We humbly bow our hearts before you, knowing of a certainty that you know that this moment would have come, that there is nothing that will ever take you by surprise. As we stand in agreement in dedicating Shania Amira Dickinson unto you. We pray in the mighty name of Jesus Christ that you will receive her with gladness. We pray, O oh God, that you will rescue this heart from this day on. We pray, God Almighty, that you will direct this heart according to your will and your purpose. We pray, O oh God Almighty, that this little girl will grow to know you in a very special way. We pray, O oh God, that her very first words that will propel to her lips from her heart will bring glory and honor to your name. We pray even more so, dear God Almighty, that this child will crave you in every possible way. We pray, O oh God, that your spirit will rest upon her and that she will see it necessary to seek repentance and water baptism in your name. We pray, O oh God Almighty, that she shall develop a hunger 
and a thirst for righteousness and that you will fill her with your spirit. I pray, O oh God Almighty, that this child, O oh God, will have, a, will have a willing heart to speak concerning the things pertaining to you and the things pertaining to your kingdom. We pray that you will dispatch your angels round about our dwelling at every window, at every door, at the four corners of our room. I pray, O oh God Almighty, that angels will saturate our dwelling with their presence. Jesus, I pray, O oh God Almighty, that she will walk with you, that she will talk with you, and that you will use her mightily in your kingdom, O oh God Almighty. This child, O oh God Almighty, will be counted as a blessed one, that she, O oh God Almighty, will love you with all her heart, with all her might, and with all her soul. I pray, O oh God, for the parents, that you will touch their minds, touch their hearts, bring them to that place, O oh God, that they too shall surrender to you, and allow this child the privilege that they have granted unto, the, unto them, O oh God Almighty. I pray, O oh God, that you will wrap her up in your love. We pray that you will touch the hearts and the mind of every family member, anyone that will have any influence in the bringing up of this child. Let your spirit Guide them, O oh God Almighty. We pray, O oh God, for your will to be accomplished in this life. We pray that your words will be established in her heart and that she will grow to love you. Do this, we pray, as we give you thanks in the mighty name of Jesus Christ for this child, Shania Amira Dickinson, as we dedicate her unto you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And we give you thanks in Jesus' mighty name. Praise God. Praise God. Oh, can we praise the Lord, everybody? Can we praise the Lord, everybody? Amen. I'm going to ask us this time to stand. It now comes time for the Word of God. We're just going to be briefly standing to welcome the visiting minister. Amen. Can we just briefly stand? If you can, as best as you can. Amen. I know that we're a bit weary, and I quite understand. But God has been good to us, and we are happy that he has brought us and he has kept us. Up until this point, we magnify our great God. It is my privilege, it is my delight, amen, to welcome this podium, a friend of myself, of my family, and a friend of Faith Chapel. Amen. He was with us a few years ago in our missions convention when we were under the tent. And we wish he could be here for our national convocation next month. But we'll still try and see if he can be here. But it's just a, a, a great privilege to have Bishop Ray McHugh Sr. with us. Amen. He could have been over at Praise Sanctuary this morning, but then he decided to come to be with us. So we are privileged. Amen. And so I want you to join me, help me to welcome the preacher for the hour, Bishop Ray McHugh Senior. Let's give him the faith chapel welcome in Jesus' name. Thank you, Hallelujah. Let's lift our hands. Worship the Lord. Hallelujah. You are Alpha. He's Omega. Hallelujah. Somebody ready to worship the Lord for a minute with me. Ah. Hallelujah. Sound man. Praise the Hallelujah.
of your mercies because of your grace God you have lifted us when we were dead in trespasses and sin and you have raised us up and caused us to sit together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus and we are grateful breathe upon us even now in the name of Jesus Christ and let your words come forth, Lord. Hallelujah. With the power, the anointing, and the clarity that is needed for this hour. Ah, God, we recognize we can do nothing without you. It's not by our might, nor by our power, but it's by your spirit. Hallelujah. So we pray that you'd anoint God. And that your anointing will break every fetter. Our God will destroy every chain. Hallelujah. And that you will be exalted in the house. Have your own way today. Take preeminence. And all the glory. All the honor. Belongs to you. Arise in this place mighty God. And let all your enemies scatter. As we give you the praise in Jesus name, in Jesus name, shout the praise to him. Hallelujah. And it came to pass that as the people press upon him, hallelujah, to hear the word of God. Somebody said the word of God. He stood by the lake Gennesaret 
and saw two ships standing by the lake. But the fishermen were gone out of them and were washing their nets. And he entered into one of the ships, which was Simon's, and prayed him that he should trust out a little from the land. And he sat down and taught the people out of the ship. Now when he had left speaking, he said unto Simon, launch out into the deep and let down your nets for a draught. Simon answered and said unto him, Master, we have toiled all night and have taken nothing. Nevertheless, at thy word, I will let down the net. Hallelujah. Greet your neighbor and tell your neighbor there's a word from God in the house. Hallelujah. Nevertheless, at thy word, God bless you. May be seated. Amen. It's my pleasure and delight to greet Bishop, amen, Garfield Daly and his dear wife. I've been looking all over. I know she always I oh, she's not here today. Okay. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Dear wife, sister Erica. Amen. Praise the Lord. In the wonderful name of Jesus and their children. I know if they are not watching now, they'll be watching later. I want you to know I greet you in the precious name of the Lord Jesus. To all the ministers here. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. And saints and my friends. Amen. Praise the Lord and relatives, I greet you in the wonderful name of the Lord Jesus Christ. To all the guests who are in the house, amen. Praise God, I salute you. Amen. I, I sat there and I, although it's the 10th uh, year, I think it's your 10th year, right? F yeah, man, that's F-A-M. Amen. Praise God, this will be the first national convention. And I sat there and I wanted to, I, I said, you know, I'm going to surprise him. But when, 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 he tell, when I heard that it costs 100000 to be in this place every day, I wonder if it's not better I just send you the plane fare. <laughs> and and, and, and watch, watch online. <laughs> oh, God of man. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. But you know some, something, friend? One day, that cost is going to be gone. Hallelujah. God did it for me. Not, 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 not anything as big as this. Amen. But if he can do it for me, amen, he can do it for you. Hallelujah. So one day, we're just going to pay to maintain this building, but this building will be ours. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This building will be ours. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah to the praise team. I, I, I just love Faith Chapel praise team. Can I just say that without any, um, oh, not staring it jealously. Jealousy. I just love praise, praise, praise chapter praise, praise team. I just love them i i drove six miles six hours just to hear the choir sing a couple of months ago amen six hours two and six hours back that's 12 hours almost a day <laughs> hallelujah well god is good god is good i'm delighted to be here greet you on behalf of my wife and family amen from and the praise thank to our ministries Amen. Praise God. And from Praise Sanctuary, Rochester, New York. We are, I'm delighted to be here. Amen. Praise God. I want to speak to us today from the last clause of the Apostle Peter. Well, he wasn't an apostle then. Amen. From what Simon said to the Lord from Luke chapter 5. The last clause of verse 5. Or he said, Master, we have toiled all night and have taken nothing. 
nevertheless at thy word amen hallelujah i wonder if there's somebody who wants to tell god nevertheless if you say it i believe it hallelujah praise the lord jesus christ you know as a boy growing up there was a quote that we often use it goes like this uh, at times when we were verbally abused we would turn to that person says stick and stone can break my bone but words cannot harm me hallelujah hallelujah and while this was a way to prevent us our parents teach us this so to prevent us from reacting violently when we were provoked as I grow I recognize that words are powerful hallelujah hallelujah words are powerful words can make you or break you hallelujah words can build you up or pull you down it can elevate you or it can relegate you words are powerful in fact the scripture declare that death and life is in the power of the tongue so parents cannot tell you if you look at your child and consistently Tell them that they are a good for nothing uh, and that they won't come out to nothing. Uh, your words are going to shape, uh, have the ability to shape their future. Uh, I can tell you because as a young man, uh, I grew up with inferiority complex because folks told me how ugly I was. Uh, they laugh at me and they call me all kind of name uh, and as a boy I would go before the mirror and look at my nose and try to I was straightening my nose you know what I, oh god our nose look like hallelujah praise the lord jesus uh, hallelujah trying to straighten your nose so that uh, hallelujah you can look good you can uh, feel accepted and you're laughing at me huh? but some of you go on instagram and uh, you look at people profile and you dress like them because you want to look uh, Well, I'm so glad uh, for the word of God. Uh, one day I was reading the scripture after I got saved. Uh, and I read in Psalms 139 uh, that I'm fearfully uh, and wonderfully uh, made. Uh, and everything changed in my life uh, because of the power of the word uh, of Almighty God. So can I tell you, speak, speak positively to your children. Huh? Speak positively to your own spirit. Huh? The scripture declared in this way, let the weak declare I am strong that's a positive message let the poor say I am words are powerful the scripture tells us that through faith we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God. 
so the sun, the moon, and the star, hallelujah, the hills and the valleys, hallelujah, the sea and the fishes, they are all there because God spoke. Oh Lord, hallelujah. The worlds are framed by the word of God. Didn't happen by accident or coincident. It didn't come as a result of a big bang. The only bang was when God said, Let there be, and there was. Not only is it formed by him, but the Bible said he upholded all things by the power of his word. So when he speak to the sun once, he did not have to speak again. He said to the waves, thus far shall thy proud waves go and no further. And they are intact. That's why you wake up in the morning, you see the sun. In the evening, you see it. All nature remain in place at the attention of the word of Almighty God. It is by the word of God. That he made himself known. That he declare his will. And also bring about his purposes. God's words are the primary means by which he is present and active in the world today. You see he is not himself a part of the world hallelujah god is not a part of the world but he acts in it by means of his word when he speaks the songwriter said he relieves my troubled mind when he speaks the wind and the waves obey him Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. It is true his word that he become personally known unto us. The Bible said that the Lord revealed himself to Samuel by his word. Hallelujah. Touch your neighbor. Tell your neighbor, don't sleep on the preacher. I know you've been fasting. I know you've been praying. I know everything is happening, but don't sleep on the preacher because if you sleep, you can't hear. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And faith cometh by hearing. Touch your neighbor and say, if you want your faith, to increase today year the word of the Lord hallelujah glory to God you see his words are powerful and creative that's why when he stepped out in Genesis he said let there be light and the Bible said there was he said let the waters from above be separated from the waters below and it happened he said let the dry land appear and it happened because his words are powerful and his words are creative our God when it comes to his purpose his words are irresistible nothing can stop it nothing can block it nothing can deny it he spoke to the prophet he said for as the rain cometh 
down and the snow from heaven and return not either but water it the earth and make it it bring forth and bud that it may give seed to the sower and bread to the eater so shall my word be that go it forth from my mouth it shall not return unto me void but it shall accomplish that which I please and it shall prosper in the thing where do I sent it? Nothing can deny what God has declared. When he speaks, it will come to pass. God's words are totally dependent hallelujah it represent his permanent commitment Woo, I feel that everything God, the Bible said is promises of God are yea and amen whatsoever he declare it shall come to pass So his words represent his total commitment. Tell the neighbor, heaven and earth shall what? Pass away, but not one. Ooh, my God, every word must be fulfilled. Bear with me, I'm going somewhere. I get there in a minute. Oh, God Almighty. And so, brothers and sisters, when we give heed to his words, his words will meet the deep needs, God, of our hearts and provides joy, satisfaction, hallelujah, and it will give us confident direction when we give heed to his words we're gonna receive joy we're gonna live a satisfied life and we're gonna walk in confidence Why am I walking in this confidence? I can walk in the heat of the sun and declare the sun shall not smite me by day nor the moon by night I can walk in this world to the valley of the shadow of death and still don't fear because God is with me I feel you Jesus hallelujah and so the word hallelujah give us direction that we can achieve his purpose and that in no other manner you see brothers and sisters the word of God it penetrates all pretense The word of God penetrate all pretense and search the hearts 
I know, Lord God, Hebrew 4, 12, it said, for the word of God is quick and powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing to, even dividing asunder of soul and spirit and of his joints, of the joints and marrow, and is a discerner of the thoughts and the intents of the heart. So God know us. The scripture said he knows our thoughts afar off. So even before we think them, God is already acquainted with them. There is no way we can hide from him because we are naked before him with whom we have to do. It just makes sense. We take off the fig leaf of pretense and said, God, search me, oh God, and not. So now, as we go to the text, the Bible, let us know that here was a group of expert fishermen who fish for a living, who knew the seas and the season, and the Bible said, they were there fishing. They were now through fishing, was on the shore, mending and washing their nets. They were out there all night, caught nothing. So look at these distraught and despondent fishermen but they heard Jesus teaching the word and somehow he did not teach like the scribes or the Pharisees but the Bible said he taught as one who have authority and when Jesus was through teaching, he said to Peter, Simon was his name. He said, launch out into the deep. What he was telling Peter, go back where you just came from. And let down your net and catch some fish. You would have been puzzled, wouldn't you? So Peter was puzzled. Peter said, Master, we have toiled all night. We were there all night. And we caught nothing. Nevertheless, God Almighty. Nevertheless, at thy word, you see, brothers and sisters, the the, um, the apostle. Well, he was the apostle then. Simon then. We're speaking of his reality. God, Jesus, Master, he didn't even know his name. He said, Master, we have been here 
all night. Just in case you're not aware. But we have been here all night. Somebody have been struggling a long time. God is about to say a word to you. And we have caught nothing. That is our reality. That is the fact. But nevertheless. I will let down my net. Oh God Almighty. And the Bible said, when he let down his net at the same place that he was toiling all night, immediately, hallelujah, he had such a cart that the net began to break. Ah, just stop for a moment to see the miracle in that moment that Jesus said, let down your net. They grow, they come a male and a female fish come together, ah, copulate, and then some rolls. Have you ever caught fish and you see some rolls of fish egg? So some rolls uh, came forth in that moment. In that moment, these rolls mature. Hallelujah. In that moment, they produce. Ah, are they? No, no, they did not produce. They gave birth birth took place in that moment and they grew in that moment because God's word declare let down your net and I've come to speak to somebody who is facing some reality it's a fact that some things in your life is not how you desire it to be. It is a fact that you might have cancer. It is a fact, oh God, that that may be trouble in your marriage. It's a fact that your children may be contrary. But I've came today to tell you to let down uh, your net uh, because God uh, is about uh, to change uh, your circumstances. Uh, God uh, is about uh, to turn around your situation. Your reality means nothing in light of the word of God. Abraham, why did your wife Sarah laugh? Is there anything? You know, my pastor, Pastor Wendell Rankin, told, me, told us of the story in one message. That's a message you don't forget. Hallelujah. That this lady or this gentleman 
read in the scripture where the word of the Lord declared that if you have faith as a grain of mustard seed, you can say to this mountain, move. And be cast in the midst of the sea. And it happened. And he went down to pray. And said, I command you mountain. In the name of Jesus. Be thou cast into the sea. And when he got up and looked through the window, saw the mountain, he said, just as I imagined. He prayed for the mountain to move, but he did not believe that the mountain could be moved. That's a problem with church members today. We pray about it. And leave and go home and fret, about, fret on it. Oh, Lord. You pray about it, but you leave and go home and expect the same situation. Can't just help somebody fade for a minute. My God. If you pray, believe. Because the Bible said, you pray and receive not. Why? Because you ask amiss in order to receive something to consume it on your own lust, on your own desire. You're praying a selfish prayer. It's all about me. The husband is a problem. The child is an issue. The wife is miserable. And they lied to you, right? When they told you that once you get married, it's going to be all over. Like Cinderella, you're going to live happily ever after. Somebody just lied to you. This don't go for Bishop Garfield Daly. But I tell all my ladies that every man is a crosses. Not Bishop Daly. And every woman is a misery. Every woman miserable. So when you mark, when you marriage a gentleman, you better prepare to bear some cross. And gentlemen, just prepare to bear some misery. Because your shoes will never be comfortable where you put it. Lord of mercy. <laughs> you married? Have you ever come? Well, for me, you come downstairs. Went to where you put your shoes up. And your shoes is never there. And you just... <laughs> oh, God of mercy. But let me give you the solution, men. A happy wife make a happy life. So just make her happy. Oh, God Almighty. Once you make her happy, 
your life good. Uh, when you go home, man, your bed spread up. When you go home, man, curtain change. When, oh, Lord God Almighty, hallelujah. Uh, that, that was not in the message. I've been married how many years now? I think it's 36. I think, yeah, 36. 1987. And I just, I just know one thing. Ray, it's futile to try to change her. Just change you. So when you don't see the shoes, don't bother curse her. Just cursing at yourself. Just say, Ray, how many times a year to put the shoes there, so I'm not here, so. <laughs> Surrender, man. And enjoy your marriage after that. That was just a marriage lesson 101. Continue to move the shoes. Because if a visitor comes, I'm going to say, Oh, this is a place so untidy. And them now look upon him. Oh, not him, because they're not going to look upon Mr. Boucher. You. So continue to move the shoes. Let the place stay tidy. Where was I? Remind me where I was. <laughs> Hallelujah. Glory to God. I wrap up in a few minutes. Uh, I, I, I think I just helped somebody. I think God just helped somebody. Hallelujah. God just helped somebody. Let me tell you. I know this. A woman, they will be with you through the thick. And through the team. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. On the roadside, my wife was there when they threw us out. Oh, Lord Jesus. When all we could eat, my favorite meal until today is Lasca mackerel rice. <laughs> because Sunday evening after we preach, done. We go home to Lasco Mackerel and Rice. And she was still there. Hallelujah. She was still there. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So they will stick with us. What they like when we're tidy. So some of you men, just tidy up yourself. No? Oh, glory. Hallelujah. And so, brothers uh, and sisters, uh, right there, uh, Jesus spoke and immediately uh, the situation changed uh, because uh, the men were willing to say, nevertheless, uh, I know the circumstance uh, that prevails in my life. Uh, hallelujah. But nevertheless, uh, at your words, uh, I will let down uh, uh, my net for a drought uh, brothers and sisters uh, your fact uh, does not change uh, the words of God uh, the words of God uh, will change your facts uh, the word of God uh, will change uh, your reality uh, oh Lord uh, my mother don't even know this uh, about six years ago uh, I went to do uh, my regular test uh, when the doctor tests me uh, she said I don't like how the prostate feel uh, oh God almighty uh, and she told me uh, it doesn't feel bad but it's better to be safe so she sent me to do to see the urologist oh god almighty and he tested and he said you know what I'm going to do a biopsy he did the biopsy they called me back to come and see them I went in and the doctor said I have good news and I have bad news which one you want to hear I said no news is good news unless it's the 
gospel. Oh God Almighty, he told me that your diagnosis come back positive. You have prostate cancer. They were to schedule me for, for to see, to decide what I wanted to do. The nurse came in and she began to say, I'm so sorry. I said, holy nurse, you don't have to be sorry for me. Lord God Almighty, I've lived a full life and more than half of my life, I've lived it for God. I preach about death every day and I'm not afraid to die for death had no terror for the blood part one I said don't sorry for me because the only regret I would have is that I don't see my two girls walking down the aisles but otherwise I'm good Lord God a couple days then the, the thing was at seven huh? couple of days huh? I went to huh? back to do the PSA huh? it is at point nine five huh? let oh God almighty huh? no cancer huh? cannot tell you huh? I know huh? you have the reality today huh? the doctor huh? has given you the prognosis huh? and the diagnosis huh? that is a fact huh? but the word of God huh? is bigger than your oh Lord God Almighty Woo. I don't hear anybody it's bigger than your problem bigger than your fear man There's one thing you can't afford to do as a child of God is to live in fear. Two years ago, a sister in our church was diagnosed. She feel pain in her bones. Diagnosed with myeloma. I didn't even know that a cancer name, so that there was a cancer by that name. Sorry, I forgot I'm at faith, not praise. <laughs> oh God Almighty. My loma, my loma eat her so hard that it damaged her. She, she went to, to bed, sister, put her feet in the water. And it was hot water and she didn't know. It burned her, third degree burn. Never feel it. My aroma mash up all the nerves. Couldn't sit down. But God, where's my phone? My God, my phone is there. Lord Jesus. Yeah. Lord God Almighty. You see, we often testify about what the devil is doing. Lord God Almighty. We talk what the devil is doing. But we don't declare what the Lord is doing. Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. My God. Yes, 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 Lord. Let me find it now. Mm -hmm. yeah, if you take a minute. few years ago, she couldn't sit, she couldn't lie down, but see her here today, she was in church the other day. Oh God Almighty, hallelujah, hallelujah, 
hallelujah, sitting, worshiping God because God, she called me just um, one day while I was here. She said, Pastor, I know you are busy, but I must tell you the news. I went back to the doctor. There is no myeloma in my system. I'm totally and completely healed. Hallelujah. There is power in the word of Almighty God. The word of God clear by his stripes we are healed it doesn't matter what you're going through believe God for your deliverance sister Olive looking good not looking like what she has been through You got to believe God for your deliverance. I'm not even going to reach, be able to preach my notes. I'm just going to pray that the Lord will turn this into AC. AC on the inside. One BTU. Two BTU. Three BTU. Your fact is a reality. And I'm not making light of your reality. But as a man of God, I don't speak to what I see. I don't walk by sight. I walk by faith. So in light, of your, in light of your faith, your reality is nonsense. The Bible tells me that Samaria was shut up. The reality that the famine was in the land. It was so sad, bad because the Assyrians shut off all the water supply, all the food route, so that there was famine in Israel. But the man of God came in chapter 7 of 2 King and said, tomorrow at this time, Hear the word of the Lord. Thus said the Lord. Tomorrow. At this time. The reality on the ground. There's going to be a shift. God of my I feel a shifting. Let me just wrap it up. The scripture said, one of the, one of the lords at the gate said, even if God would make windows in heaven, this cannot be. The man of God said, going to see it. But you'll not partake of it. If you don't, somebody else is going to receive it.
But the Bible tells me that there were four leprous men outside of the gates of Samaria. They were discarded. They were cut off. Hallelujah. They were the outcasts of society. But when they look at their situation, they sum up the reality. They said the reality is that if we go into the city, the famine is there, we shall die. Not only how is a famine going to kill us, but if we try to mingle with the people, they are going to kill us. He said, if we remain here, we are going to die. If we go over the camp of the Philistine, peradventure, we may die, but peradventure, they will have mercy upon us. And they said, why must we sit here in our reality and die? Let us get up. And the Bible said, the four leprous men get up and they begin to walk toward the camp of the Philistine. And while these men were walking, leprosy, eat away at your flesh, eat away at your muscles, so that they were weak. But pastor, I believe the four of them bond together. Lord God, they lean on each other and they begin to walk toward the camp of the Philistine or of the Assyrian. And the Bible said, while they were on their way, that God caused the Assyrian, the, the feet of the four leprous men, eight weak men without any strength, caused them to sound like a great army, like mighty chariots, discombobulate the Philistine and drive them away. When they get there, the enemy was not there. And I came to faith today to speak to somebody's faith and to tell you just hold on to your neighbor and tell your neighbor you are not in this alone we are in the same boat together I'm about to wrap up I wish I had some more strength to preach Brothers and sisters, the problem with the church is that we have become too individualistic and too self-reliant. We believe we can make it on our own. Can I tell you? Your walk with God is an individual walk. I can't walk for you. You can't walk for me. You have to make your calling. An election, sure. But while 
You have to walk alone. You can't make it on your own. Brother Deacon, you demonstrated a while ago. He could pray, hold the baby, and the mic at the same time. So he can't leave here and say, I christen this or I bless this baby. He didn't do it alone. He couldn't do it on his own. And that's the problem with the church. Let me just remind you. Sister Sadler, praise God. You can't make it on your own. I need you. You need me. Yes. Hold the hand of your neighbor. Hold the hand of your neighbor. Yes. That neighbor of yours that just passed you this morning at the bus stop and pretend she didn't see you. Hold that hand. Lord God Almighty. Hold that hand. And because you're saying there's a selfish spirit, but you got to just know that not only she is fighting the devil because you are jealous of her, while you should be believing God for your blessing, so you have a devil too. Yeah, 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 yeah. Woo. Hallelujah. Every one of us uh, is fighting uh, a demon. Uh, but the Bible said, uh, when we come together, uh, one uh, shall chase a thousand, uh, but two uh, shall put 10,000 uh, to flight. Uh, there are some legions uh, that are preventing uh, and obstructing, obstructing, uh, obstructing your blessing. Uh, but together, uh, Lord God Almighty, uh, like those four leprous men, uh, let us begin to move. Uh, Lord God, uh, it's not about me, uh, but it's about us. Uh, you pray for me. Uh, I pray for you. Uh, see God do what no others There's a word of prophecy that is in your mouth. My God, I'm so hot. I want to take off my shirt. No, no. Don't bother saying my shirt never iron good. My wife is not around. Okay. I couldn't hide in the back of my shirt, so if it crush up. Oh God. I'm not like my, my, my nephew Maurice. You see him sharp. You will never see a crush. And his and his seams are straight. You'll find three and four when I iron mine. <laughs> so take your high off the preacher and listen to the word. The problem with us, brothers and sisters, is that we're not uniting together. And, and, and they said, no love, not in church, and I don't believe it. Because I, I can tell you, it's in church that I found love. Amen. 
for individual might, not love. But God is in his church and God is love. I just want to correct that. And if you said no love is here, you're not going to experience love. No, it's not because you don't have any way you say it really. It's that you're disappointed in what you feel. But if you look at things in the natural, how it appears, you're going to lose your blessing. Because it doesn't matter what your enemy do. Whatsoever your enemy do for you is working it for your good. They thought they were destroying Joseph. They were just fulfilling his dream. We talk too much about the enemy, man. Oh, God Almighty. Hallelujah. 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 The love of God is shed abroad. But when we bond together, brothers and sisters, you don't know what your neighbor is going through right there. Because she didn't tell you. You don't understand how somebody's weeping deep in their hearts right now for a change in their life. And you sit beside him, you sit beside her, and there is a word in your mouth. That you need to declare over their life. Let them know it doesn't matter how dead your situation seems. Hear the word of the Lord. Speak to those deadness. Speak to those uh, dryness. And said, arise. Live again. Uh, you, 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 you're in church I, wa I want you to help me preach preach to your neighbor and tell your neighbor the things that you have given up on God is about to turn it around the stuff you stop praying about and say you're going to live with it because it's your reality God is about to turn it around Somebody, the word of faith is in your mouth. Faith chopper, I said, open up your mouth and begin to speak to your neighbor. Tomorrow, this time, thus say the word of the Lord. Your situation will change. Shato kosa ta yama kelo boshita halaba kosheta ka Hallelujah! I feel you, Jesus. I feel you, Jesus. Your neighbor and said, Break, break, hit break, 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 break. I'm breaking generational curse, I'm breaking fleshly desire, I'm breaking, oh God Almighty, every chain break.
One minute, Mr. Musician. The Spirit of the Lord does reveal to me that there's somebody in this house that is suffering from homosexual tendency. Don't put your hands up. Yes, yes. You're suffering from homosexual tendency. I don't want you to put up your hand. God just told me he's going to break that evil off you today. God Almighty. Hallelujah. He's going to set you free today. Ah, hallelujah. My Lord God Almighty. I feel like something is breaking in the spirit right now. God is breaking it off you. Hallelujah. You're going to the school. And there's somebody in your school, a young lady, that is trying to get your attention. Another young lady. But I come to break that spell today. In the name of Jesus. I touch your neighbor and said, I lose you today. Touch your neighbor, Lord God Almighty. And said, by the power of Almighty God, I lose you today. Break! The word of God will not return void. It's going to accomplish. It's going to fulfill. My sister, my sister, in the, yes, you got to clap your hands over there, you, yes, sister, raise your hand, that young man before you, yes, him, bring that young man, Lord God Almighty, hallelujah, hallelujah, somebody need deliverance in this house, you're not leaving here, I'm tired of you coming to church and going back the same way you came. The Lord God said tomorrow, this time, sin will no longer have dominion over you. My gifting, my talents, my possibilities are going to be realities. Oh God, it's happening for me in the name of Jesus. It's happening. It's it's happening. Hallelujah. Break for it. Lord God Almighty. Come deacon. Rest your hands upon him. Lord. Prophesy in his spirit. Declare over him the word of the Lord. You shall live. Lord God. You shall fulfill God's purpose. The devil will not save you. I'm calling you young man you young man that's struggling with this you young lady 
that is struggling with masturbation. Oh God, sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry to go in like this. I'm calling you. I don't want you to come yet. Uh, I don't want nobody to know it's you. Every time you do it, you feel condemned. But you do it again. You're struggling. Ah, you're here because deep within you, there's a desire to be what God wants you to be. But you're struggling. We're not here to kill you. We're not here to destroy you. Because the word of God said, you shall live and not die. And you shall declare the works of the Lord. I'm telling you, we are breaking it off you now. Put your hands on a young person beside you. Command the spirit of pornography to die. Speak over there. It doesn't matter if they are so struggling. If they are not struggling now, you are either in it going in it are coming out of it one day it's going to confront you huh? but there is a preemptive word huh? Lord God Almighty there is a preemptive word huh? God said huh? it shall not destroy you Every person that need deliverance, every person that need the victory, step out of where you are. Step out by faith and believe God that he's going to minister to your situation. God has sent his words to heal all your diseases. He has sent your words to deliver you. Somebody lift up your voice and say, I need you, Jesus. Call him by his name. There's power. There's power. There's power in the name of Jesus. Mama Hesha Koshe Woo Yes Lord Yes Lord 
Live! Live! not going back Lord God I'm not going back Lord God I'm free hallelujah I'm free in the name of Jesus I'm free We sense the spirit of deliverance from early. Hallelujah. We sense that chains would have been broken from early. They are breaking right now. 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 Pray through. Pray through. Pray through. Pray through. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The chain breaker is here. And the work has started. And deliverance. Deliverance. And healing. Is at work right now. Pray through. Pray through. Pray through. Pray through. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Before we sing, the song says, I am free. Praise the Lord. I am free. No longer bound. No more chains holding me. But before we sing, Let's pray some more. Hallelujah. All right, Mike. Hallelujah. 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 Just before we sing, just before we sing, pray through. Pray through. We are going to be praying for you. We are going to be praying shortly. But I want you to pray through individually. And then we are going to bind our hands and our hearts together as the minister pray, the minister's prayer. Amen. And then we sing. Pray through. Pray through. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come, Brother Randy. Hold one of these mics. Pray through. Hallelujah. 
Aleluia. Pray through. Don't stop. Don't stop. Keep praying. Keep praying. Keep praying. Keep praying. It must be broken. I sense deliverance in the house already. Let it happen. Let it happen. Let it happen right now. And deliverance. Let the work be completed God. right now. He that coming to you must be. Oh, in the name I pray of right Jesus. Now, oh God, that each and every one will extend their faith. Hallelujah. Praise God. Knowing that you are the healing Praise God. God. You are the delivering Hallelujah. God. Praise God. Right now, oh God, we have seven. All right, as this saints continue Savior. to pray individually. Ministers, right let us now. lift our voices. We pray, oh God, let us pray just turn away in Jesus' name. From all the Father, we come before your presence. To, oh God, and Another time. We thank you for what you have been doing in the house. Oh, you know heart, since the you beginning of this service, we thank you, know you God, for the spirit right of God. deliverance right that right has been in this house from the start. Ah, oh, we sense oh, that chains we would have been broken. We sense that healing right now, oh God, would have taken place. Hallelujah. And the word came. You sent a word and healed. To lose them Hallelujah, right and chains were broken. We thank you for what you have done already in the house. We thank you for the travail that is happening right now. And for the, the chains that you will break in addition to what has already been broken. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, mighty God. Thank you, heavenly Father. Thank you for the move of the Spirit of our mighty God. Thank you for the deliverance which is flowing across the altar area, across the pews right now, right across this building. Thank you. Thank you. Continue to work, mighty God. And as you said in your word, let the weak say, I am strong. Let the poor say, I am richer. We need to speak the word. Speak the word. Irrespective of how we feel in ourselves. Mighty God. And so we speak and we say, Oh, they say, I am sick. I am healed. I am delivered. I am free. Speak that word in your prayer. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's the whole way. Hallelujah. Declare that word in your own life. I am free. I am healed. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Be set free. Be made whole. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. We thank you for In Jesus' name. We thank you for Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Complete the work right now, mighty God. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Glory. 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 Glory to God. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Complete that work, mighty God. In every life right now, they have come to the altars. Sort your face. Do it right now. Do it right now. Do it right now. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. We thank you for the word today. We thank you for your servant that you have used to deliver the word. We thank you for those who have come. We thank you for the response. We thank you for the move of the Holy Ghost. Blessed be your name. We give you thanks, mighty God, in Jesus' name. 
in Jesus name in Jesus name hallelujah I am free praise the Lord I'm free no longer bound no more chains holding me hallelujah my soul hallelujah. is resting it's just a blessing hallelujah. praise God praise the Lord hallelujah I'm free glory to God Sing that song. Praise the Lord, I'm free. No, no oh. longer bound. Yes. No oh. more chains holding me. Oh. My soul is resting. Oh yes, oh yes, it's just a blessing. It's just a blessing. Hallelujah. Oh. I am free. I am free. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I'm free. No longer bound. No longer bound. No more chains. No more chains holding me. Yes. My soul is resting. Oh, it's just a blessing. Praise God. God. I will trust you and 
Clear. Loud and clear. 